quantum computers were the upcoming tech revolution until recent years, IBM's huge strides in developing supercomputers and Google's Sycamore were all small achievements to this evolutionary milestone in human history, the milestone to make and run a supercomputer a thousand times more powerful than our present day computers. But in the last few years, everything changed. It came the metaverse, diverting all the tension and money from the big tech, but it failed, and then came the AI, almost sweeping out the entire tech trends available at the time. It's only AI now. Big tech is invested, people are adopting it, and the whole industry is forced to adapt. And this raises a sad and concerning question. Will quantum computers get the same attention? The same amount of funding and effort in research? Will there ever be a working quantum computer in the future? These questions are valid because it's not only about public adoption and funding, AI is coming neck to neck with the power, function, and utility of the quantum computers of the future. Hello and welcome back to QuantumFi. In today's video, we'll answer, will AI kill quantum computing? So let's get started. Well, there isn't a single straightforward answer, just like most open-ended psychological thrillers endings, but what we will do is we'll take two different perspectives. The first one will be in favor of AI. In a similarly titled video, Sabine Hassenfielder has stood with artificial intelligence and argued why it will ultimately dominate and make quantum computing obsolete. While quantum computers boast the potential to leave classical computers in the dust, they're still in their awkward teenage phase unproven, finicky, and expensive. Think of them as superpowered toddlers who require constant attention and cry if you get their temperature slightly wrong. But here's the twist. AI is making leaps and bounds, mastering the same tasks that quantum computers were supposed to excel at. It's like AI is training at the quantum gym, getting ripped while quantum computers are stuck on the playground swings. This poses a serious threat to quantum computing's future. The question comes back to why invest in a technology that might be obsolete before it even reaches its prime? It's a question that leaves even the most optimistic quantum enthusiasts scratching their heads. Hosenfielder concludes with a bold prediction that AI will deliver the final blow to quantum computing. Well, as a common viewer, most of you might agree with her vision and surely they are somewhat logical, but it is not the full picture. The counter argument. Thinking AI will steal all funding from quantum research is like fearing black holes will swallow all galaxies tomorrow. Both quantum and other fundamental research hold intrinsic value beyond immediate applications. We humans are driven by curiosity, not just money. In exploring the universe, big questions like black holes and quantum secrets motivate us in our pursuit of powerful quantum computers. It's not just about hacking passwords or making billionaires richer. Instead, AI might might even boost quantum funding. You may ask, what? As AI makes money, some of that wealth could flow back to support more future research like quantum computing. Investing in quantum computers is like investing in the unknown frontiers of science. My man Marvin Ken beautifully explains all this and other mistakes about the Hosenfielder video. The computational speeds of quantum computers and traditional computers are constantly contrasted in the graph. The quantum computing line is placed above the classical computing line in the above graph. This indicates that processes performed by classical computers are faster and more efficient. There comes a moment later on when classical computers are significantly slower than quantum computers in doing the same tasks. When a quantum computer of reasonable size and complexity solves simulation problems, traveling issues, and classical encryption techniques that are unsolvable by conventional computers, that is the crossover point. According According to Dr. Sabine, AI is redrawing the boundaries and marking a turning point in the long future, which proves that Mike Skropfer, the former head of technology at Meta, was spot on when he said that quantum computing being irrelevant to Meta right now is highly prophetic. However, computers are not just about finding speedy solutions to issues. 
Modeling. Modeling problems is another aspect of computing. Practically speaking, quantum sensors constructed at the measurement side of quantum computers offer a few of the cosmos beyond the reach of conventional computational sensors. Atomic clocks and LIGO are noteworthy candidates. The LIGO uses minimal energy, which is periodically cycled by continually stimulating an atom to see and count atomic zeptoseconds. A zeptosecond is a trillionth of a billionth of a second. That's a decimal point followed by 20 zeros and a one. That is so, so, so small, the smallest unit and perhaps the most accurate unit for measuring time. Finally, we can maintain an accurate and tremendously tedious clock to tell the time quite precisely. And the LIGO uses a modified Mach Zender interferometer to detect gravitational waves. This is just one single CNOT gate in the context of quantum computing. One CNOT gate may detect gravitational waves, so imagine what our sophisticated algorithms are capable of detecting. We need to find out. The applications of quantum computing and measurement computing will only grow more remarkable. Marvin wants to calculate the Hamiltonian of the tiniest Bitcoin miner that is possible. Going hand in hand, we must acknowledge that because AI enjoys learning, it may be infatuated with quantum computing. Artificial intelligence may be stretching the limits of classical computers to give them heuristic abilities that those who train AI models also find amazing. However, a car is never going to be a boast no matter how hard you push it. Even while AI still struggles to explain quantum mechanics in comparison to most human physicists, this could change if we continue to feed AI data data from quantum computers. Big tech should be interested in machine learning of quantum technology because improving quantum computers will lead to improved nanomaterials that are useful in the realm of classical computing. Similar to classical computing, the realm of quantum computing is currently parked at a nanoscale. They could help one each other out, I believe, and they're going to. And this was it for today, guys. Hit the like if you enjoyed our video, comment down if you want to see a video explaining how AI and quantum computing could help each other and subscribe to get quantumfied. Stay tuned as we'll be back soon with another important video. Till then, keep watching Quantumfy.